Well, <coughs> you, you said you wanted a reaction after Shrewsbury. That was certainly some kind of reaction at Cheltenham, wasn't it? Yeah, I think you've, you've got to have to be careful, especially after you lose a game. There's always a different kind of emotion and feeling, and it's like people have done something drastically wrong. So in football, you're going to get beat. You're going to have bad days. You know that's all part of the process. You know the most important thing is that we want to play well. You know, winning the game, and I feel if you play well, you normally get the right results. Certainly on Tuesday night, we've done that. Did you feel that 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 desire to do well obviously comes from you, but also came from within the squad itself? That they felt they'd underachieved maybe at Shrewsbury. Nah, you, you, you end up looking for stuff that's not there. Ed. You know, the likelihood is we're going to lose more games. You'll lose games when you don't expect to. Do you know, football's got a weird way of evening itself out. You know, most important thing is that you're preparing properly and you're trying to do the right things. Certainly, when we look back over the stats for Saturday's game. You know, we worked harder at Shrewsbury than we did at Charlton. You know, some of the stats are absolutely amazing. You know, yet we're always looking for a fine line that'll tell us exactly why we lost. You know, the reason why you lose sometimes because that's football. You know, and sometimes the harder you try, the worse you get. You know, Tuesday night was a very, very clinical performance. You know, it was a good performance, but like Shrewsbury, move on. But how, how does that work then in terms of, because it seemed that Shrewsbury maybe we weren't quite on the pace, but at Charlton, within 15 seconds, we could have scored. It, it, if I knew that, Ed, I'd be managing Atletico Madrid or Real Madrid today. I'd be sitting in the sunshine in Spain. You know, football's one of the things that, you know, it, it's a, a little bit of a blame culture. You know, when you have someone to blame, it's a, it's a player's fault. You know, if you've got an individual player sometimes, for example, um, you know, two, three lads get left out, it's like they're being blamed for the defeat. That's not right. You know, the reason why you lose is because it's football and, you know, lads can't hit a level of performance every single week. You know, the most important thing is that you're trying to replicate your good performances as regularly as you can. And that's the thing now, we've got four home games in the next five, is it? So you're looking for that consistency out of Just keep going, Les. Yeah. If you look at it, Ed, one of our better performances was certainly Portsmouth. You know, we ended up with a man sent off and drawing the game. Yeah, we had enough chances to win four or five games, but you draw. In a heartbeat then, you've gone two games without a win. You're going down to chart and half under a bit of pressure to get a result. That's the way football is now. You know, for me as a manager, I'd like to think I'm a little bit more... You know, preparing well, are we playing well? You know, is our is our shape within the, the game correct? You know, certainly on Tuesday night we got it right. You know, but as I say, it's one game. You know, you've got your three points. Move on to the next one quickly. And the next one's Bristol Rovers. What 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 can we expect from them? What sort of a game do you think it's going to be? I think it'll be a good game. I think Daniel's done an exceptional job at Bristol Rovers from the relegation when he went into the conference to the consecutive promotions to finishing a place outside the playoffs last year. Uh, or two places outside, whichever it was. You know, so this year now they'll be in that position where how do Bristol Rovers kick on? Kicking on is to go into the championship, or is kicking on changing the squad to try and go there? You know, that'll be for Daryl to decide amongst his staff and his players. You know, they always get the best out of the players they have. They're always an exceptionally difficult game. They score goals. You know, they've got a fantastic record in terms of under Daryl as manager, and it'll be a very difficult game for us tomorrow. And in terms of preparation, how's the squad looking? Obviously, a long trip. You know, lots of intense, intense period of games. How's, how's everything? It's always managed? different. The lads had a lie in on. Um, obviously, we got back. I think it was about four o'clock ish in the morning on Tuesday. Going into Wednesday, they had Wednesday off. They then reported in at lunchtime on Thursday to have a lie in. You know, there'll always be reactions from them journeys. Everyone's the same. You know, but preparation for this game's good. The lads will then be in on Sunday preparing for Northampton on Tuesday. The games come thick and fast, and all you can do is manage from game to game and do what you think is correct. Quick final message for our supporters before the game. I was great to have so many travelling fans. I think someone said it was 283 fans, I think it was, travelled down to South London on a Tuesday night, which is which is a fantastic number, you know, with the logistics of getting to a game like that. You know, the support up to date's been terrific. You know, as I say to them all the time, we're going to have our dips. You know, and that's when the support's most valuable. You know, it's great to support your team when we're winning, but it's at them moments how you choose be away. You know, them type of fixtures where we haven't done so well when you can see the character that you support, that's important for the team.